Okay, now I mentioned cheese. Catherine loved cheese. Does cheese have hormones? Yeah, it does. Cheese comes from a cow and cows are impregnated every year on dairy farms to maximize their milk production. And when they are pregnant, they are milked into the pregnancy. They're, they're milked every year, they give birth, they are milked, but they're also then impregnated fairly soon and they are milked well into the next pregnancy. Here's why that matters. A cow produces estrogen anyway. The estrogen gets into the milk, but the longer the pregnancy goes on, the more milk gets in, the, the, the more estrogen gets into their milk. When you drink a glass of milk or eat a slice of cheese or have a cup of yogurt, you are getting estrogens from the cow. That's right. There is no, no hormone-free no hormone milk. It's all got it. Okay. Now, what about soy? Some people are nervous about soy products. They think, gee, maybe soy could contribute to cancer risk. What they're thinking about is isoflavones like genistein or dadezine. These are isoflavones that are in soy products and they attach to estrogen receptors. And so that made people think, gee, well, it's kind of like estradiol. Maybe it will cause cancer. Well, researchers looked. A meta-analysis of eight different studies in Asians and Asian Americans showed that a high soy intake was actually associated with reduced risk of breast cancer. Those women who consume the most soy, soy milk, tofu, that kind of thing, had 29% less breast cancer risk compared to women who were ignoring soy. And women who had had breast cancer in the past, if they were high soy consumers, they had about a 25 or 30% reduction in the likelihood of dying of their cancer. So soy products reduce the risk of getting cancer and reduce the risk of dying of cancer if you had it in the past. Soy products seem to be okay. <laughs>